I, you're in the Mountain West. Just talk about being in that conference. You know, what, what, what's the, what's it like uh, being the one military school in that particular conference and um, that, that schedule? You know, it's a tough conference for volleyball. Usually there are three or four teams that make it to the NCAA tournament every year. And the academy has not been good in recent years, but we just had a really good recruiting class for the last two years. Arkansas State's a really good team, so we're pretty happy with that win. You know, we keep competed well against Rice. That's, that's a really good team. They returned all their starters from last year. I'm not familiar with the coaching staff at uh, at, at the Air Force. So how long have you been there? Two years. This is my this is my third year. Just starting my third season with the academy. And you came from where? I was at Berkeley, Cal Berkeley, before that. Big difference, state school to. I mean, in every in every possible way, that's a huge difference. Is it more when you're recruiting? Is it more to the academic standard and, and rather than uh, the military? What what they have to offer? Yeah, um, it's both. You know, all of our players know that they are going to be an officer in the Air Force when they graduate, but the academic standards at the academy are <laughs> rigorous. Um, it's every student graduates in four years. Nobody takes one semester longer. Everybody graduates in four years. Everybody graduates with a, a bachelor of science degree. It doesn't matter whether you're an English major or a history major, you graduate with a bachelor of science because of all the engineering and calculus and sciences that you take. The the classwork is rigorous, and and then you tack on a couple hours a day of the military training on top of that, and a couple hours of volleyball every day. But one of the things you don't have to stress more than anything else is uh, team and discipline. That's true. Um, you know, we only have one rule because there's enough rules at the at the academy. Our only rule is be smart, and so they do that very well. It's, you know, coaching that group of 19 players. Every one of them was valedictorian or top one or two or three kids in their high school. So they're all leaders. They're all learning to be leaders. They're all going to keep me safe in my bed 10 years from now, flying planes and keeping America right. One of the other things, uh, putting that non-conference schedule together, how, is, is it, is it str how do you approach it? Because still, you, you, it's the military that you... We don't care. Um, we we want to make sure that we play Army and Navy every year. Because mm -hmm. they're really our rivals. Um, and our comrades. But we want to schedule them every year. But then we also schedule... A, you know, there's only one way for us to get better, and that's to play good teams. And, I mean, this tournament was great. BYU is a very good team. Like I said, Rice is a great team. Arkansas State just beat Rice this afternoon. Clearly, they're a great team. Um, we schedule tough. Is it anything that you can that I hadn't asked about the academy? That I, just, I know there's something. Well, just just talk Tell, about this. You know, every one of our kids is a great kid, and everybody should. Everybody in the United States should be proud of them. You know, they're they're going to be uh, the leaders of our military in ten years. So it's pretty exciting. It's a great place. One last thing, uh, I guess it's community-wise. It's been a tough summer for you all, uh, just in the area, uh, in Colorado Springs. Uh, some fires, yeah, but that's all over the all over the country. You know, there's a lot of people that are going through that. So uh, you know, my heart goes out to all. Um, how did and, and, you know there's about to be a hurricane in Florida? So that stuff's happening everywhere. Well, that's what we out in the half two thirds of the country. Tough go for everybody. That's what we deal with down here uh, in this area, the Gulf Coast area, you know, uh, a lot of rain and uh, hurricanes. Uh, but the reason I asked about the, about the fires is because the, the academy had to be pretty much evacuated. No, the, they didn't. It they was did. close. It was close. Okay. Were, you know, all, everybody was on alert, but nobody had to be evacuated from the academy. Good, good. So, yeah. it's, 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 but, you know, 300 homes were lost, so there's a lot of people that lost their homes and all their possessions. So, so community as a whole came together very well. All right, one last thing, uh, and then we'll, uh, then we'll be done. Recruiting is pretty much nationwide. 
and all over. Yes. Does it make it easy, easier for you to, to get kids? Yeah, and volleyball makes it easier because there's a lot of smart girls that play volleyball. So, gotta be smart to get these guys. Alright. Thank your you. name and your uh, and how and, and where you coach at? I'm Matt McShane. I coach at the Air Force Academy. Thank you, sir. Thank I appreciate you. your time. Yep. Thank you.